Hi class, let's get started with our chapter 7 bridges review. As usual, we're going to go over everything that we have learned in the past few weeks. Let's start with vocabulary. What is the missing word here? The sky is clear today. C-L-E-A-R, clear. The zebra has many black stripes. S-T-R-I-P-E-S, -E stripes. The cheetah has many black spots. S-P-O-T-S, -S, spots. There is a monkey on the branch. B-R-A-N-C-H. Look at that cute little monkey on the branch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the dog sticks out its tongue. T-O-N-G-U-E. That's kind of a funny word, so let's look at it again. T-O-N-G-U-E. Tongue. La -la 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 -la. Okay. <laughs> the birds mm, are big and colorful. The birds' feathers. F-E-A-T-H-E-R-S. If there are many, we add an S here. The elephant enjoys rolling in the dirt. D-I-R-T. Dirt. Oh, what's this animal? It's the crocodile. So crocodiles move around on both land and water. How do you spell crocodile? We've learned this word before, right? C-R-O-C-O-D-I-L-E-S, crocodiles. What's the missing word here? The ape is bigger than the monkey. Ape, A-P-E. That's an A magic E word for the long A sound. Ape. Okay, now this is what we saw in social studies. It's really quite simple. We've talked about this a lot before. So here we have different categories, different groups. We have animals that walk on land, animals that fly in the air, and animals that swim in the water. And I'm just going to add one more over here. Let's not forget the ape, especially, is the one who walks on land. Now maybe we should just read these words over one more time to make sure that we can read them and that we know what they are. So for the animals that walk on land, from top to bottom, we have tiger, monkey, elephant, and we also added ape. Then if we move to the middle, we have the animals that fly in the air. On top is the hawk, flamingo, and butterfly. Finally, animals that swim in water, we have fish, shark, and crocodile. You will not need to write any of these words on the quiz. All you need to do is be able to recognize. So that means when you see the word, you can read it and you know what animal it is. On the quiz, you will just need to sort, meaning put them into the right group. Okay, let's move on to math. So math, we talked about time intervals. So time intervals, we are looking at the clock and we're seeing what time it is now. And we're looking also at a time before or a time after. So for example, right now it is 12 o'clock. And at seven o'clock this morning, I had some breakfast, okay? So the question will be, 
How long has it been since I ate breakfast? So we're looking at the time now and we're saying how long has it been since the time before, since 7 o'clock? The answer is it has been five hours since I ate breakfast. You have to subtract the big number from the small number. So 12 minus 7 is 5. Okay, let's look at one more. Let's look at one going the other way. So right now it is 5 o'clock. And later, at 8 o'clock, I'm going to watch a movie. And I'm very excited about this. And I want to know how long is it until I watch the movie? Meaning, how long in the future? Right now it is 5. How long until 8 o'clock? It is 3 hours until I watch the movie. This time we have to subtract 8 minus 5, which gives us the answer 3. If we're talking about before, we'll ask the question, how long has it been since? So the verb is in the past tense. And then if we're talking about later in the future, it will be how long is it until? Okay, remember how to tell time on a clock. So the short hand is for the hour, the long hand is for the minute, and every number is a count by five for the minutes. And remember to always subtract the bigger number from the smaller number. On your quiz, you will have a question like this. So you'll have something like, it was eight o'clock when the train left the station. It is 11 o'clock right now. How long has it been since the train left the station? So it's 11 o'clock now. It's 8 o'clock when the train left. 11 minus 8 is 3. It has been 3 hours since the train left the station. And you'll also need to draw a clock. So make sure you know how to draw a clock for the correct times. Okay, nice. You guys are done. Have a good night. Goodbye.